What is up, everyone? Welcome back to Fusion Garage here. Today, we got an episode one of stancing a Nissan Versa. All right, if you don't know what a Nissan Versa is, this is a Nissan Versa. Almost looks similar to a Honda Fit, but this is a Nissan. So today, first modification, we're installing a duck bill. So it's a little bit difficult on this one as the screw-ons are from the bottom side, so it's not just 3M tape. So we're gonna go ahead and show you the test fit right here. But again, here's a stock Nissan Versa. This thing is gonna get modified, full show car, trunk setup, interior, bags, wheels, aero, all you can name it. We're gonna get this up to show biz. Let's take out the test fit. All right, official mod of this duck bill. Check out how aggressive it looks right here. Yes, sir. So we're gonna go ahead and install this today or tonight. And it's gonna be a little bit more complicated. We took a look at the, how to install it yesterday and check out the holes. So the screw-ons are actually from the bottom side. So you can't see it from the inside of the hatch. So we came to a conclusion. We're gonna try to stick in some marker tips inside here, right? And then we're gonna place it on top of the trunk hatch and then slowly press down the marker tips to make a marker point onto the hatch. So hopefully that goes well because that's the only method we thought of that we can make it work because otherwise you can't see it, you know, and just 3M tape is not going to hold this good. We want this bolted on. So we're going to have to mark the holes, drill straight in into the hatch of the trunk and then put the screw from the inside. So let's see what happens. Yep, so right now we are gonna put the tips inside those holes. But this one, he already has the uh, wrap from Vinyl Frog. So we are gonna wrap this car. He's about to order the air ride. We're gonna throw some wheels on here, three piece wheels, that duck bill. And we're gonna see how that one looks. But I don't even think I've seen a fixed up, stanced out Nissan Versa. This is manual. So we're gonna get this show ready let's go all right we take the tip off the marker well it's kind of too big inserting it right now yep. so we got the tip of the marker inside there yes sir we got one two he's trimming this one right now three we got one more it's gonna be four bolts how's that gap all right we got the marking one we got one right here two three and at the end four so we're going to go ahead and start with a pilot hole if you don't know what a pilot hole is it's going to be a small bit and then work our way to the bigger. Side ones come with threads inside. This one, there's no threads. They, they gave us some kind of sealant, but I don't know about using all that. So we do have this M5 walnut. We're just gonna drill this hole big enough for this to stick right in there. And then as soon as you screw in, it'll tighten. It'll squeeze inside there and hold. I think that'll work better. Yep, I'm gonna do that. Right now we're just tightening the screw. As you can see, we stuck a big washer in there and it's going to the well nut. So see it focus Let's see. right there. Yeah. You see the washer right there? So that thing is screwing on into the well nut. And we got another one Where's it on this side. Here, see it right here, down. 
So now we just gotta tighten it, and then the more we tighten it, the walnut squeezes from the inside. See it? There Bam, you go. Right there. So, tighten it, and we're gonna be good to go. So everything is bolted on. Screw right there. We got the inside ones right there. One, connecting to the walnut with a fat washer. Same one right here, connected to the walnut on the bill with a fat washer. And the last screw right here. Everything is super tight. Let's look, see how it looks. Eee. Check it out, guys. So now imagine this car stands out. You guys want to stay tuned on this build. We are going to get this up show ready. Again, here's the bill or duck tail. And bam, I think we did a good job. So you saw the method we used to mark the holes on here. Um, we did use a unibit to make the holes bigger. But after that, simple bolt-on install. No 3M tape included. This thing is solid, solid on. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys like our content, you wanna stay tuned on all the cars we work on. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys on the next episode.